G'day Legends, welcome back to the Rugby League Guru Podcast. We've got finals week one and the team list have just dropped. I'll be completely honest with you, it's not the most eventful TLT ever. Uh, there's a few big ins, but all ones that we expected. Uh, but I think that's how we want it for finals week one, Katmandu. How are you? Yeah, all the actions in the game themselves. It's you good. Know? And are we going to address the elephant in the room, which What's is the, the team the list Wednesday last week? Oh, yeah. Apologies to all of you out there. I hope you weren't holding your breath for that. Uh, I came in on Wednesday morning. I was doing about even. I got 17 texts from Kat and I thought, oh, my God, someone's died or something's happened. I opened my phone to find out that, uh, yeah, Teamless Tuesday was TLW last week. It so, was. Um, yeah, it yeah, was. You, you, handled, you took the news really well. I you did. You were really good I about did. it. There yeah. were people – the comments were really funny just going – just pointing out the obvious, which was that it was Wednesday. Yeah. There were anyway. written warnings handed out, which were fair, <laughs> uh, but uh, similar to the West Tigers, we don't lose, we learn over here. So I liked Hammy's post about that. Yeah, he's very We don't good, lose, so. we learn, and that is the same to – the same can be said about Guru Studios. Very much so. Very anyway, much so. What do we got, Kat? Let's kick off the weekend. First week of finals, which is so exciting. This Friday, the 13th of September, the Panthers will host the Roosters at 7.50 p.m. Friday the 13th, something to note there. Uh, mm. I'll actually be out at this game. Uh, the great Matty the Waterboy will be in the Chook Pen with the great Hangsy out there. So I'm very keen to uh, soak that one up. I will be going for the Panthers. Brace yourself, Chooks fans. I know you're all coming after me with pitchforks at the moment anyway. Uh, for the Panthers, Dylan Edwards lines up at fullback, the walking wounded. He'll be ready to go. On the wings, Taruva and Brian To'o, the centres. Uh, we've got Isaac Tungo and Paul Alamotti. Jerome Luai will line up at 5'8 once again and returning the skipper, Nathan Cleary, a huge in. All eyes will be on him. No doubt Angus Crichton will be peppering that edge and going at Nathan Cleary. Big job for Liam Martin there. In the front row, Mosley Otter and Fisher Harris, the Bash brothers, back together again. Mitch Kenny wears jersey nine as per. Scotty Sorensen on the left edge, Liam Martin on the right, and Isaiah Yo. All the talk has been about Jerome Hughes and James Tedesco as far as Dally M goes and as it should be. But I'll tell you what, Isaiah Yo, he'd be a top three player for me this year. He's been incredible. Uh, Trent Taylor on the bench, Lindsay Smith, Liam Henry and Luke Garner partner him. Uh, the extended bench, you've got a number of talented players there, but I'm not seeing any changes to this Panther side. I think they'll run out as named. For the Roosters, a couple of changes here. James Tedesco lines up at fullback once again. On the wings, the two boys returned from their rest last week, Daniel Tupu and Dom Young. Suwali'i and Joey Manu line up in the centres. Luke Keary partners his new halves partner here. Uh, Sandon Smith once again looking for a big finish to the regular to the end of the season. Spencer Lenu and Lindsay Collins in the front row. Connor Watson wears jersey nine. Uh, Angus Crichton and Satili Tupanua on the edges with Nat Butcher returning from a HIA in jersey 13. They'll be desperate to have him through the middle again. The bench for the Sydney Roosters, Zach Docker-Clay, Naf White, Seal Wong and Terrell May. Once again, a bit of talent on the extended bench, but I'm not seeing any changes for that Roosters side. Cat Super Saturday, what do we got? Super Saturday starts with the Storm v Sharks. This one is at Amy Park at 4.05 p.m. For the Melbourne Storm, Ryan Pappenhausen returns at fullback. Missed last week. So far Longo came in, played about 60 minutes. Pappy will line up in this one. Will Warbrick and Xavier Coates on the wings. In the centres, Jack Howarth and Nick Meaney. The money man, Cam Munster at 5'8". Been waiting for a big game all year and some have finally arrived. Keen to see how he goes. Uh, what do I expect to be the Dalian medalist, Jerome Hughes at half? Halfback. Nelson, a Sofa Solomona in the front row with Josh King. Harry Grant, the skipper in Jersey 9. Sean Bloor and Ellie Katara on the edges with Trent with Trent Leoro in Jersey 13. The bench for the Melbourne Storm. Wishy, Welsh, Tui Kamakamitha and Alec McDonald. Uh, a couple of guys like Grant Anderson who have been regulars in this side on the extender bench. Lazarus Valipu as well. Uh, but I'm not expecting any changes to this Melbourne Storm side. Craig Fitzgibbon's side to go down to Melbourne. Will Kennedy lining up at fullback. Sione Katoa on one wing. Mulatalo on the other side. The centres, Ramian and Itero, one of the best centre pairings in the game. Braden Trindle at 5'8". Nico Hines in the 7. Toby Rudolph and Oregon Corfushi start in the front row. Blake Braley in Jersey 9 having a cracking season just quietly. Britton Nicola and Teague Wilton on the edges with Cam McInnes locking the scrum in Jersey 13. The bench for the Sharkies, Dan Atkinson, Jack Williams, Royce, The Choice Hunt and Sifa Talakai. Hamlin Wellay, the only one on their extended bench. Actually, Tommy Hazelton's there as well. That's a bit of a surprise to me. Tommy Hazelton not on the side. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a change there. Personally, he'd be in my side 100%. Can you see why he's not in the side? Very 
interesting. What's the late game, Kat? Late game is Cowboys v Knights. This one is at 7.50 p.m. up in North Queensland. Toddy Payton's side lines up as follows. Scotty Drinkbloke at fullback. Kyle Felt and Murray Torlangi on the wings. The centres, Val Holmes and Valia. Tom Dearden lining up at 5'8 with Jake Clifford wearing jersey 7. Jordan McLean and Jason Tamalolo will start up front. Reese Robson will play at hooker. Helam Lukey and Jeremiah Nanai on the ages. I'll tell you what, Lukey had a cracker last week. He was sensational. Ruben Cotter locking the scrum in jersey 13. The bench for Toddy Payton. Sam McIntyre, Harrison Edwards, Finney Fouillard. And Griffin Neem. I'll tell you what, some unsung heroes there. I would not be surprised if we once again see Jackson Perdue come into the starting lineup here. Personally, I would want to have someone that can cover my outside backs come finals time. For the Newcastle Knights, Caelan Ponga, the superstar at fullback. He was unbelievable last week. They'll need an enormous game from him returning home. Fletcher Sharp on the right wing. Uh, Greg Marju on the left. Gagai and Bradman Best in the centres. Jack Cogger at 5-8. Phoenix Crossland, aka Tim Williams in jersey 7. Dan Saifidi and Leo Thompson in the front row with Jaden Braley in jersey 9. Tyson Frizzell and Dylan Lucas on the edges with Adam Elliott in jersey 13. The bench for AOB, Tyson Gamble, Matty Croker, Jack Hetherington, and Brody Jones. The only change I can see coming to this side is in Jersey 22, our boy Kai Pierce Paul. We spoke to him up at Newcastle the other day. He told us that if they made finals, he would be ready to go. So I'm tipping Kai Pierce Paul comes back into this side. Personally, I'd be leaving Dylan Lucas on the left edge, and I'd probably be taking out Brody Jones for KPP and just sending him through the middle at the North Queensland Cowboys. That's the only change I see for Adam. O'Brien there. What do we got on Sunday, Katmandu? We have a rematch between the Bulldogs and the Sea Eagles. Sea Eagles at a course stadium, 4 or 5 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon. What a way to wrap the football action on the weekend. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Our team's dead even in the betting market as well. The Bulldogs, a couple of big ins here. Connor Tracy at fullback as per. The wingers will be Jacob Kiraz. He moves from centre to wing. And Gerald Skelton, who comes back into the side. Obviously no sign of Josh Adokar at the moment. A couple of dramas there. Bronson Cherry returns in the centres, which is a huge in for this Canterbury side. Stephen Crichton will line up at right centre. Matty Burton, another huge in for the Bulldogs at 5'8". Toby Sexton, the sex pistol in Jersey 7. Max King and Sam Hughes start in the front row. Reid Marnie in the nine. Viliami Kikau on the left edge. Jacob Preston, the cougar on the right edge. Jamin Salmon wears Jersey 13. The bench for Cam Serraldo, Bailey Hayward, Curtis Morin, Harry Hayes and Josh Curran. As far as their extended bench goes, guys, Guys, I don't see any of those fellas coming into this side. I think they will run out as named there. And I obviously know Josh Shadow Carr on the extended either. For the Manly Seagulls, the big in possibly the biggest in of the week outside of Nath Cleary. Tom Trevojevic at fullback, which has caused a little bit of a reshuffle. Tommy Talao will start on one wing. Lehi Opawade will be on the other side. Ruben Garrick in the centres with Cola returning to the centres. You would assume Cola will jump in at left centre there. Luke Brooks at 5'8". Congratulations to Brooksy playing his first finals game of his career. Unreal to see. Daly Cherry Evans in jersey 7. Taniela Paseka starts in the front row with Matty Lodge. Lockie Lachlan Croker in the nine. Ola Kawatu on one edge, Carl Lawton on the other side and Jake Trevojevic in jersey 13. The bench for Anthony Seabold, Burbo, Josh Allier, Ethan Bullimore and Nathan Brown. Looking at their extended bench there, I think they will run out as named. Wouldn't be shocked to see Carl Lawton maybe come back to the bench or them change him around, but I think that 17 uh, will stay pretty close to what it is there for Anthony Seabold. Guys, a huge weekend of rugby league coming your way. Finals week one. Obviously, you got the two games of the top four sides. They get a second bite of the cherry. But finals footy, sudden death footy for four of the other sides. It's going to be a huge weekend coming your way and we'll be covering it all in the lead up to here on the Rugby League Guru Podcast. We've got break, beers and break evens dropping tomorrow. We've got the catch up coming your way tonight. A stack coming your way over the next few days heading into finals week one. Thanks for joining us once again on the Rugby League Guru Podcast.